Today, I want to speak about church denominations. Now, all denominations are evil. And if you don't get this, then you're also deceived as well. Because there's nothing like denomination when it comes to the body of Christ. And I'm going to show you so many verses so that I can be able to show you that these denominations, you hear I'm from Pepha, Baptist, I'm from this Pentecostal, Charismatic, whatever. All those denominations, they're a waste of time. They're not sending anyone to heaven. It's just a total mad confusion which goes on. And um, there's a difference between denominations, which literally is just religion, because why do they divide in the first place? It's because I do not agree with you uh, on what I have learned in the Bible. So if we don't agree, I go and form my own religion, my own denomination. And just because we, we are talking about Jesus, we are not talking about Allah, probably, you say, oh, because you say Jesus, I say Jesus, we are just divided a little bit by denominations. But you're just the same thing like those Islams and uh, all those um, Hindus and everything else. Because there's no difference. You're just a religious uh, fanatic. All right, and for you who will say, So, who is your daddy? Oh, my papa is this one, and my papa is that, and and this is my church, and that is a... you're really confused, you're really confused, and you need Christ today. Let me just show you as many verses as possible to prove to you that denominations are purely evil. Okay, now the Bible tells us in the book of uh, John, chapter 17, verse 20. Where Jesus is praying to the Father saying, For those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they may also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. Jesus is saying, I want all these who have come to me to be one, not to be divided Stop these divisions because these divisions are the ones which are killing the people of God. A lot of divisions, a lot of denominations. Even the Apostle Paul said, let there be no divisions amongst you. Then why are you divided? Let me show you other couple of verses here. Romans 16 verse 17 to 18. The Bible says, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions, divisions, denominations. And offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. They make those denominations so that you can go to them, so that they can milk you dry. They can eat everything that you have because you think that man is better than this other man or better than that other man, better than Paul, than Apollos, than who, than who. This is my guy. That's your guy. Mm -hmm. You're just being deceived. 1 Corinthians 1 verses 10 to 13. Paul says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing. All speak the same thing. And that there be no divisions amongst you. Let there be no denominations, divisions among you. But that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. For it has been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by which are of the house of Claw, that there are contentions, contentions among you. Now this I say that everyone of you says, I am of Paul. And I am of Apollos, and I of Cephas, and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you, or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Do you understand this? Jesus does not want divisions, does not want these denominations, because they're just dividing his body. Okay? We don't have anything like the body of Paul and the body of Apollos, the body of Keith, the body of... No, we are the body of Christ. Titus 3, 9 to 11, the Bible says, But avoid foolish questions and genealogies uh -huh, and contentions. Did you get that word? Contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. A man, a man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition rejects, knowing that he is such 
is subverted and sins being condemned of himself. So don't have these contentions. Somebody comes and then he starts preaching another gospel. Don't go and start another denomination and another one. And you want to follow this one because I felt this. Follow the Bible. If we all read the Bible and followed it to the core on what it says, I don't think we'll have any denomination. We will be all one body in Christ Jesus. Jude chapter 16, uh, chapter 1 verse 16 to 19. The Bible says, these are gamblers, malcontents, following their own sinful desires. They are loud-mouthed boasters, showing favoritism to gain advantage. Did you hear what the Bible says? These people who are causing these divisions, these denominations, they just want to gain advantage of you. But you must remember, beloved, the predictions of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. They say to you, in the last time there will be scoffers, following after their own ungodly passions. It is these who cause divisions. Worldly people, devoid of the Spirit. They cause what? Divisions. Denominations. They keep on confusing you. Let's go to Ephesians 4, 3, verse 6. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Mm -hmm. The bond of peace. There is one body. And one spirit, even as, as me, uh, even as you, uh, you are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. We have one spirit in all of us. We have one master. Then why are people behaving as if they have different masters? I hear some pastors saying, my God will deal with that guy's God. And you see, my God has done this. And you see, it's as if these guys, they're worshipping a different God and that one has a different God. Why all these denominations? They're just forms of religion. Let me read some more quick verses as well here. Colossians three twelve to 15. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, also do ye. And above all things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also are called in one body, and be thankful. You are in one body not divided bodies of christ did you get that one did you get that one again first corinthians 11 18 to 19 for first of all when you come together in church i hear that there be divisions among you and i partly believe it for there must also uh, for there must be also heresies among you wherever there are divisions there must be heresies this is something Paul is saying here. Where there are divisions, definitely there are heresies. People preaching their own things. That they which uh, are approved may be made manifest among you. Those who are approved of God, you will be able to know them. Because they are not going to be heretic. And they are going to follow the word of God. And they are not going to start their own denomination. I can read for you verses after verses after verses. But it will mean nothing if you do not understand that denominations are very evil. They're just part and parcel of uh, religion. And my friends, I want to tell you, the body of Christ is one. There are no two bodies or three bodies or four bodies. It is one body drinking one spirit, living with one father who is our father in heaven. Let's not keep on, you know, the whole world believes that Satan is one. But they all believe that gods are many. And that is the same thing these people in the denominations try to bring into your minds. That we have so many gods. My God, you are God. My God, you are God. But they all believe in the same Satan. You must be foolish here. So let's wake up to the truth. Hope this made sense to you.